Hey guys, um, today I will demo you how to build a TI U boot related file uh, for this SDK version 8.2.23. Uh, and uh, the demo movie I made today is the uh, 2022 um, June 23 okay the current SDK is uh, having this kind of situation so let's go through the entire um, my personal uh, photo training course for you guys and customers so let's break um, the SDK what it contain inside so when you have installed this SDK you will find those uh, folders inside okay let's do this clear and LS okay okay loads a uh, two square file uh, is my modification for generating the TI boot that bin we will talk about those later and this bin file is coming from the native SDK and the board supporting is the driver layer which is the BSP and uh, there are two main parts in the board support okay uh, I will tell you later and this document uh, along with this SDK is here you can see and read the document inside and the file system is the loop file and also this and the mac file and usually we need to understand how is the building made so you just need to uh, deep study this mac file inside and this is the setup.sh when you are uh, getting this sdk you need to set up this square file first okay this is uh, mandatory Okay, let's see what's the content inside the board support. So, okay, there are two some two major parts. The Linux, which kernel version is 5.10, and this is the U-boot along with this SDK, and this is the preview image coming with the SDK. And uh, I back up this preview image and name it to original. This is only for myself backup. And once you uh, make the you put this you put the view will be generated. Okay. And the major part we focus is the K3 image. So you can see there are two versions. Uh, the 2020 is a native coming along with this SDK version and the 8.4.01 is the a newest K3 image tool I get from the TI uh, GitHub so um, let's talk about uh, what's the content inside for this you put the view because I only have one hand for recording this uh, video so a uh, little bit inconvenient so there are two subfolder in the you put w the a53 is the arm core the r5 is a cortex r5 core so if you read the uh, TIC tower mct4 you will know uh, there are two major calls in in this platform so the uh, U-Boot will generate two a different file in those two folders okay let's see let's see what's the inside of A53 okay 
there are two major files you need to copy into your SD card. One is that you put that image. Okay, this is the this one. You put that image, and the other one is the um, TISP uh, that pin. Okay, this one. So please remember those two. And this is the two file you got need to copy into your SD card. Now let's see what's the content inside the folder R5. So you will see there's another file, the same name with the input image. And uh, the major part we focus is the TI put part three. Uh, TI put three tap in. Okay, let me introduce this. This you put that image. We don't need to take care of this because once the alpha is built, this image will be merged into the A fifty three. So this one you can ignore when you are uh, the beginner of the uh, TI Stara AM sixty four. Okay. This is another put file important. This is the TI put three tap in. And uh, when I doing this video, uh, please don't copy this one into your SDK. Let me tell you the reason why. Okay, let me clear the screen first. Okay, this is the um, this is the R five. Uh, for the content, you can see the TI put 3 tap in is having the 34 6k. This is this one is smaller, okay. This is not the one you need to copy into your SD card. Now, get the other place. Okay, you can see there's a, a K3 image. What I told you in the beginning, this is the ATA4 I get from the uh, TI GitHub. And let's see what's the content inside. So you can see there's a, a TI put 3 tap bin. And the file size is uh, 569K, okay, here. This one is bigger than the R5 folders. So what you need to do is copy this generated TI put 3 tap in onto your SD card. So please remember this. As the reason why, because this bigger one TI put 3 tap in is merging the system, system way into it. So that's why it becomes bigger. So this is not a uh, well document on the TI uh, website. So that's why the reason I check this uh, training video for you. Okay, now let's break. Uh, see how I do for the uh, TI Blue screen and you put file. How do I make it? Uh, wait a second. So let's see this uh, square file I write yesterday for generate that you put. So let's see what's the inside of this. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. In this square file, you need to check this document. I already uh, emphasized in this square file and please read it. And the square file I wrote here is uh, uh, extract the comment in this document. I already make it executable. So this is the export page and I distinguish the R5 and A53. 
Okay, here's the sequence. You need to build the R5 first, then to build the A53. I already told you that you put that image. What you get is coming from the A53. So that's why the R5 need to build first, and then the A53 section will merge that you put that image inside it. Okay, let's break into this one. This is the. Uh, hold on a second. Where is it? Okay, it's here. You can see there's a K3 image here, okay? So, this is the uh, key point to generate the TI boot straight up pin, okay? So, you can see in the output folder I already. Uh, speak here and the A53 is also having the uh, you put view okay and the more important two things you can see there's a two small guys is a BO331 and this one is a BO32 this is a must to have uh, put related file okay if you want to run no more, please read this uh, document I address in here. So let's see how it builds. Okay, let me clear the screen. So let's execute it. Okay, this is my own scribe. So it's built in the R5 right now so when when you are doing this uh, please uh, copy the compile log and uh, you need to check if there is any error logs inside the reason why I pick up the 8.4 K3 image tool because only this tool give you a, a perfect no any error logs inside so please discard the a.2 k3 uh, image tool when you do if when you are doing this okay okay let's wait some while So you can see the R5 is dealing with uh, SPO here. Okay. So when you are seeing the, this section, this means the R5 uh, generated process is finished. Now we are jumping into the A53. Okay, you can see the input image that pin is out and we will convert into the input that image. Okay, input that image is here. So it's uh, already built okay. Uh, okay, uh, let me uh, consolidate this uh, video again. When you are doing this, uh, wait a second. Okay. When you are seeing uh, my scribe, there's a section here. This section is uh, tell you what are the file you need to copy 
The first file is the A53TRSPL. The second one is the U-Boot image located on A53. Then you need to go back to the K3 image tool. You can see there's an 8 4 here. And this is TI boot 3 bin is the one you need to copy uh, onto the SD card. Again, three files TI boot 3 bin, uh, TI SPL bin, and the U boot that image, and the TI boot 3 bin. Those three files you need to update on your SD card. Okay, this is the entire training course for the TI Boot 3 Dubbin and I uh, hope you can enjoy this video so any problem please uh, talk into your TI representative FA thanks for your watching bye bye